So moving on to the main card, we have Rosas Jr. versus Ricky Tercios. I'm not sure if this is official yet, but it's on Tapology. Uh, I think Tercios says that, unless I haven't been updated yet, he said that he hasn't signed the contract. But I'm assuming that he will sign the contract. So we're just going to say that it's going to be on the main card to open it up. Now, Rosas Jr., obviously this is supposed to take place in Mexico City. So, you know, we did the breakdown for this with um, me and Alex, I think, last week. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. But we'll go over it really quickly again, just so you guys can get a sense of what's going on. The odds for the fight right now, it's very similar to what it was last time. I think minus 230, minus 235. So maybe a little bit heavier on Rosas Jr. But uh, Gerard, since this is going to kind of be fresh to you, I know you did this in the best bets video, but has anything changed for you as far as this fight, uh, seeing how you see it? Yeah, I think uh, with the change of venue in Vegas, this probably helps Rosas more than Ricky because I think Rosas would have been gassed at elevation, especially in that first round, which he usually does when he has that high octane offense going and going hard at his opponents, grappling and throwing some big shots. Um, he does have that inexperience and that submission threat here, but I think Ricky Tercios, he'll be able to have the cardio and the and the volume and the scrambles from getting grappled. I do have a uh, Rosas. I'm leaning Rosas to win this, but I still think there's value here on Tercios. Um, I think that this fight could go to a decision, and I think uh, Tercios' experience in the octagon with more quality opponents i believe is can test rosas here a little bit and we'll see now that if rosas has a more than one round in him in a hard-nosed grind out fight if tercios can pick it up and put push the pace in this one so my pick here is rosas but i i would more uh i'm more confident in the over in this fight Got it. And yeah, right now, let me see if the what the over looks like. It's minus 145, opened up at minus 115. So people are perhaps thinking what you're thinking, that this fight's going to go over. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet so we can move on. I mean, I, I still think I have similar thoughts. I think that Rosas will win via sub or decision. If you want to check out my full breakdown of it, just watch the video at the Pure Pickers channel, the clip channel that we have. I don't think anything is going to change much. I mean, like you mentioned, I think Rosas Jr. is probably going to have a better cardio in this case. So maybe I lean towards more Rosas Jr. winning more often than not this time. But I'm still staying away. I think that after just that C-Rod uh, debacle, I, I don't think I could lay any kind of juice on this guy anymore. So 